Hello everyone, welcome to this video for Infinite Lag Range. Today, I will be, I will be introducing the guild dockyard function. Before I begin, I believe some people may be curious on how to build the guild dockyard. As it is something that's not new but never explained by anyone before. In summary, before the dockyard can be built, there are a total of three things a commander needs to do. There are three types of organization. I'm not going to explain in details regarding to what each organization does, since there are videos made online which provide some clarification for them. Going back to the dockyard function, the commander will have to establish a guild as an organization. Next, the guild created by the commander will require a port officer. Note that a port officer is only unlocked and provided from talents. It doesn't come automatically, it doesn't come magically. Finally, the guild needs to own a city that holds port structures within its operation region. With everything all set, the guild leader can then assign a commander which is within his organization as a port officer. The port officer can build a guild dockyard, just like building a regular outpost on one of these port structures. So here comes the question, what does it do? After playing around for a little, I came to a conclusion that a guild dockyard is useful when commanders are almost maxed out in supply while having some good extra blueprints. You may have a better understanding what it means later. Here is a quick demonstration of the dockyard function. There are a total of 4 commands for the dockyard, and 2 of them are somewhat irrelevant. As you can see, the transfer function and the guard function are just typical operations for fleets. For the guild dockyard, you can transfer another type of transfer. You can transfer ships that you own into the dockyard. It costs a total of 60 action points for each transfer. And once the ships you choose to transfer enter the dockyard, your ship's supply will go down, which allows you to build more ships, more combat ships. For other players to utilize the ships in the dockyard, they will have to liaise the trading port corresponded to the city. Once their ship is liaised, the port officer can then manage and give the players ships that they do not own. The players will then have full controls of the ships until it's destroyed or retreat. If you find this video interesting or helpful, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have more questions regarding to the dockyard, you can leave a comment below. I will answer them as soon as I am available. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope everyone lives a peaceful life.